The Price of Revival For which of you, intending to build a tower, sitteth not down first, and counteth the cost, whether he have sufficient to finish it? Charles Finney once said that revival should come as no surprise. It is certain, just as a crop of wheat will come after the farmer has tilled the land and sown the seed. When we seek the face of God and are willing to pay the price of revival, it will come. The words of the missionary statesman Jonathan Goforth shed new light on the price of revival. He wrote, Our reading of the word of God makes it inconceivable to us that the Holy Spirit should be willing, even for a day, to delay his work. We may be sure that, where there is a lack of the fullness of God, it is ever due to man's lack of faith and obedience. If God the Holy Spirit is not glorifying Jesus Christ in the world today, as at Pentecost, it is we who are to blame. After all, what is revival but simply the Spirit of God fully controlling in the surrendered life? It must always be possible, then, when man yields. The sin of unyieldedness alone can keep us from revival. But are we ready to receive him? Do we value the giver and the gift sufficiently? Are we ready to pay the price of Holy Ghost revival? Take prayer, for example. The history of revival shows plainly that all movements of the Spirit have started in prayer. Yet it is not right there that many of us wilt and falter at the cost. What is the secret of revival? A great evangelist once asked, There is no secret, he replied. Revival comes always in answer to prayer. This devotional was taken from the Reverend Steve Hill's book, Daily Awakenings, and have a blessed day.